Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now is a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, today's video, we've got something very, very exciting. We're looking at the new launch from Pixie Beauty. Now, anyone that's ever been on this channel before knows I love, love, love Pixie Beauty. As a brand, yes, they have some faults, but overall, their products have been fantastic. I was particularly excited by their tonics. I think they're a great brand for getting younger people because that tends to be the demographic they pitch at, but first time skincare users, people that want to get into skincare, they've got fantastic products that just help you sort of seamlessly segue into the skincare realm. I have gone mad for all of their tonics. Um, I love oh, their glow tonic divine, life-changing, gorgeous, glow-enhancing AHA exfoliator, adore it. Their retinol tonic, fantastic for the first-time retinol user. They've had some duds. This was their milky tonic, their collagen tonic, which I've got somewhere gorgeous and hydrating. So they have some hits, they have some misses. Their new launch is their Clarity Collection. I love the idea of this. It's all based around salicylic acid. I swear by salicylic acid as an ingredient absolutely fantastic for going into the pores doing a deep clean and a deep exfoliation helping to get rid of some of the dead skin the blackheads the excess sebum balance the skin's oil levels and just really help you keep matte during the day it's a godsend for someone like me that is a grease slick from start to finish so i love salicylic acid i'm really excited that a brand that i love have started to bring salicylic acid into their skincare routines previous all of their products really focused on ahas so glycolic acid primarily so this is something totally new for them and I'm very, very excited. It launched here in the UK in June, so under a month old and you can get it online, you can get it on Pixie Beauty here in the UK and in the US, you can get it at Boots, which is a drugstore here in the UK and you can buy it at the usual outlets over in the US. So it's quite accessible, most people can get their hands on Pixie. They do have a sale on their website at the moment, so if you are looking to buy now, hop over to the website because you do have a little bit of coin off, save yourself a little bit of money. So I'm going to go through the four new products that they brought into this range, kind of work out whether it's something I've tried them all I popped into boots I bought a couple I tried a couple just so I could see the texture and kind of how it interacts with the skin work out whether I'm going to be using any of these long term whether I think you guys should be investing in them and including them in your skincare routine and ultimately whether they're good products that's enough waffle let's get straight into it and we're starting with the clarity tonic I think they're really pixie are famous for their tonics this the Glow Tonic is what really launched this brand, which has been around for about 20 years, but the Glow Tonic launched them into the stratosphere. It was all over Instagram, all over Twitter. Everybody went mad for the Glow Tonic. It was a celebrity favorite and still is. It's one of my go-to exfoliating tonics and I absolutely love it as a toner. Um, it's kind of on a par with the 7% toning solution by The Ordinary, if you've ever used that. Just a really nice exfoliating toner. So their tonics, I think, are still their standout products. So I was really excited with the introduction of their Cloud tonic same pricing as the other so here in the UK 18 pounds for the large bottle for a third of the size it's 10 pounds I usually go for this size of bottle which is like the travel size 10 pounds it tends to last about a month I would say um, which is really good and a good price point and it's really easy to take around with you if you're traveling a lot like I do just slip it in your bag and you are good to go so the price point I think is very fair and I enjoy that so what about the ingredients well in here, you've got salicylic acid, which is really the main ingredient in the whole of this range. All of these products have salicylic acid in, which we know is fantastic for evening out the um, oil production in the skin, helping to detox it. I say detoxify, but you know, draw out some of the impurities in the skin, some of the dirt, the debris, and get rid of those blackheads and texture on the skin. Beautiful ingredient, and it's in all of their products. This also has glycolic acid and lactic acid in. This is fantastic because I don't think enough people realise you can mix your exfoliating acids. You can have an AHA and a BHA, mix them together. Different ones do different things. So BHA, which goes into the skin, salicylic acid, which goes into the pore and really just takes out all that dirt, grease and excess oil, works beautifully with glycolic acid, which does a much more surface exfoliation which breaks the bonds that are holding the dead skin onto the gorgeous skin beneath so it just helps even everything out so it works really well together lactic acid is kind of similar to glycolic acid in the way it works but it's also hydrating so in this you're getting a deep pore exfoliation you're getting surface exfoliation and you're getting some hydration as well which is absolutely gorgeous you've also got um aloe in there which is great a lot of people find if they're using um chemical exfoliators they can be a little bit red afterwards a little bit sore 
This aloe is fantastic at calming and soothing the skin, so that's a lovely addition. It does have vitamin C in here as well. I'm not 100% sure what the vitamin C is doing in this product, to be honest. I think it's quite way down on the um, ingredients list, and I don't really know what it's doing in here because it won't be adding much value to it, but it's in there. You've got hyaluronic acid as a humectant to keep the moisture in there, and all around, I think this is a gorgeous product. I tried it when I went to Boots, did a little dab test, tried it on. I am not purchasing this only because I've got so many salicylic acids on the go at the moment. But once all those run out, this is actually something I could go to. I think this is fantastic if you want an all-in-one exfoliator that does everything. You don't really need many more steps in your skincare routine after this because you've got your exfoliations, you've got your humectants with the hyaluronic acid in here, you've got a whiff of vitamin C that's probably not enough. You don't really need to do much more after this other than slap on your um, SPF and walk out the door. So I think this is really really good. I wouldn't use this unless I had oily or combination skin. I think anyone that's dry would still find this quite drying because you've got the salicylic acid which removes the oil and you've got the um, glycolic acid which can be quite drying anyway. So I think this is very much for the combination to oily market which is great because Pixie I don't think hugely catered for that up to this point so it's a beautiful addition and I really like it. It's also got probiotics in there. Probiotics are amazing for helping support the barrier function of the skin and just keep the skin healthy. So overall I'm going to rate this product. I Oh and I missed the most exciting bit out. Can we just have a drum roll please? This is fragrance free. Oh my one big 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 no-no from Pixie was the amount of cloying fragrance. I don't mind a fragrance in skincare, but it was like a fragrance overload. It hit you and it lingered for hours. This is fragrance free. So if we can just say oh, a hallelujah, Pixie have heard the message and it actually smells really nice. Salicylic acid can be a bit chemically, not this. It smells really nice, but it's fragrance free, which is really fantastic. And I think means it caters for more people because not everybody wants fragrance in their skincare. As with all Pixie things, it's cruelty free, which is amazing. It doesn't have any alcohol or parabens in. I'm giving this a nine out of 10. That is a ding, ding, and an almost third ding. Nine out of 10 is a fantastic, fantastic rating for a product. I think what I would, if I was to give it a 10 out of 10, take out the vitamin C, because I think some people might want to put a vitamin C serum into their skincare routine. And this, you're not getting enough vitamin C to really make a difference, but it's maybe enough that you don't want to put another vitamin C in in case you double up. So I get rid of the vitamin C. I don't think you need that. And I would like them to put their concentrations on the bottle of what's in here, because I assume it's a 2% salicylic acid from the tingle I got on my hand. I believe it to be a 2%, but I don't know. And I wish they'd be a little bit more transparent with their um, percentages. But overall, 9 out of 10. And I will be buying it once I use up my other salicylic acids. Now, going on to the Clarity Concentrate. They tend to do this. They always have the main tonic and then they do a concentrate. Now, this, re this retails at £26. There's just one size. £26 here in the UK, around the $30 point. I think their concentrates are a little bit overpriced for what they are. I think you can get the same benefits from the tone from the tonic with paying literally half the price. So I'm not sure why the price point is so high on this, but this is in effect the same as what you're getting in the tonic, but with the addition of niacinamide. Now niacinamide is fantastic for helping again to regulate the oil production in the skin, give a light brightening to the skin and help to shrink the size of pores. So this claims to be pore constricting, so removing some of the dirt and the debris within the pore and shrinking the size of the pores, which we can all get on board with. It's got the glycolic, the salicylic and the lactic acid, so the same beautiful blend of exfoliating acids in here. Again, you've got none of the fragrance, which is fantastic. And it does have licorice root in here as well. So it's subtly different to the tonic because you've got the niacinamide and you've got the licorice root, both of which are going to help to brighten the skin, even the skin tone, which I guess gives that clarity that we all crave. So I like the idea of it. I think it's a bit over priced for what it is and um, I think you probably get a month's use out of this I tried it, it's oil free it didn't go on sticky or tacky which was nice I'd stick personally with the toner the tonic I don't think you need to spend the extra money to get niacinamide when you probably have a niacinamide in other products anyway so I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 there will be a market for it but I just think unless you are really not bothered by price and want the niacinamide in the product 
I would probably give this one a miss and stick to the Clarity um, Tonic, which is absolutely fantastic. We then have the Cleanser. Now, this is kind of where we part ways with this line. <laughs> I want to like everything because I was really, really impressed with the tonic, but the Cleanser is just, again, it's adding a lot of active ingredients into a cleanser, which you put on, you massage for 30 seconds and you wash off. You're getting no benefits from it because it's not on the skin long enough. It, again, has that same mix of salicylic acid or the active ingredients. It's 18 pounds, so it's quite expensive and it'll probably if you're using it am and pm last you about three weeks overpriced i don't think you need actives in your cleanser i say this time and time again and i know loads loads of influencers on youtube disagree with me but i don't care i'm sticking to my opinion i don't think it sits on the skin long enough to actually do anything do your normal cleanser follow it by the clarity tonic and do away with this because there's no need for it in your skincare i'm giving it a three out of ten I didn't even try it when I was in boots. I was like, you know, I'm not even interested on having it on my skin. I just don't think it's necessary. And I'm just, I'm not a fan. You can read me to filth if you think treatment cleansers are great. But if you want a salicylic acid cleanser, there's a cheaper one at the Inky List. And I actually think it's probably better than this. So this is a firm pass for me. And then finally, but interestingly, I think the most interesting product in terms of something slightly different. All the others kind of have the same ingredients in and are interchangeable. It's just a different formula. But then we get on something quite different and unique, and that is the Clarity Lotion. £24, lasts you around a month. It comes in at $30 over in the US. I tried this on and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous feeling on the skin. So it says it'll keep you matte all day, which I love. If you're like me and it's hot, you can see the sun going in and out here in the UK. I go greasy by about midday and it's just a downward slippery slope from there. By the end of the day, my face looks literally like it's slipped off the bones. It awful. So anything that keeps me matte during the day, I'm all in favour of. And this says it will. Oil free, so fantastic for people with oily skin and combination skin, which I love. It has got lots of flower extracts in there. So they're natural. So it's not classed as fragrance as such, but you still can be triggered by them. So you can still get sensitivity as a result of them. So what I would recommend is you patch test heavily on this one before you apply it to your whole face, just to make sure. It does give a gorgeous smell. And some of them do have, have added antioxidant and moisturizing benefits. So I'm not against it. I just would be very careful and patch test before you use it just to make sure you don't want to play it all over and find you have a reaction to some of the extracts in it. It's got niacinamide, it's got the BHA, so it's got salicylic acid in there. There's no um, glycolic or lactic in this, which is, is nice because you might want to use this, but actually already use the Glotonic or another AHA exfoliator. So this does help you to not double up. And um, it's got kale in it. Kaolin is gorgeous for keeping you matte all day. It will just sit on the skin and continue to just absorb, act like a sponge for all that excess oil. So that's fantastic. And it's got charcoal in there. I'm not a fan of charcoal. I think it's a bit overrated. I don't really get it. But it's in there and I don't think it's doing any harm. It glides on. This literally adds so much hydration whilst keeping you matte. It's a fantastic product. I think it's a little bit pricey. £24, I think it's quite pricey for Pixie. But it went on and it was a gorgeous, gorgeous feeling on the skin. And it did feel the sort of product that would keep you matte all day long. I've ordered one from Pixie so I could get the little coin off because why not if you can get 15% off why not get 15% off and I'm looking forward to using this and giving it a full full wear test but I've checked the texture and I do think it's going to be a really nice moisturizer because of the kaolin again I think it's suitable for people with um, oily skin only and combination would work I think anybody else would find it too drying there we are four fantastic new products three of them I love one of them I just don't think we need to but I understand why they've got a cleanser in here so Overall, what do I think? Well, I think it's a totally new launch for Pixie. I've, I found Pixie a little bit hit and miss with their tonics. So you've got the really good ones, but you've got the retinol. The vitamin C is okay. The glow tonic's gorgeous. You've got the milky tonic and the rose tonic, which I'm not a fan of. They've listened to consumer feedback and they've got rid of that fragrance, which is fantastic. It just makes it so much more accessible, which I love. And overall, I think it's a really, really well thought through and well formulated product line. The imagery is beautiful as always. The packaging, gorgeous. It's very pixie. It's very Instagram. It's gorgeous. Um, I like that they're still cruelty free. That's a big tick for me. And I do like the fact they've removed the fragrance and listened to customer feedback. So I'm all in favour of that. I do have a soft spot for Pixie, you can probably tell. I'm, and this is a line that's perfect for someone with me, like me, that has oily, acneic, breakout prone skin. I wouldn't be recommending this to anybody who has normal to dry skin. I think there's better products out there and I don't think you need this. But if you want an off the counter, off the shelf, easy, 
all-in-one skincare routine and you've got oily skin, this is a really good go-to. Be careful that you're not, the only thing I'd say to be a bit careful with is that you're not doubling up on things. So don't use the tonic and the concentrate because you're just going to be overloading with those acids. Um, I, again, wouldn't recommend you use the, to the tonic and the um, Clarity Lotion because you're doubling up on the acids. So I think you really just need to pick one product from this line and use it and then incorporate it into the other elements that you have in, already in your skincare routine. Be very careful because some of them have niacinamide and some don't. You don't want to double up on niacinamide because it can create sensitivity, irritation and redness. So just be a bit careful on that, but all told, a beautiful line. I'm going to give it eight out of 10. That's because two of the products I adore, I think the lotion and the tonic beautiful i think the cleanser wah, 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 why bother and i think the concentrate has a place but it's not exactly for me it's still cruelty free which is amazing i love the fact that the packaging is just beautiful it makes you want to buy it and that they've actually really thought about the ingredients and the formulation all told very impressed i'd love to know what you think have you even seen this this is totally new have you seen this are you going to check it out do you think it's for you leave me a comment below i'd love love to hear what you think and please 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 if you could give this video a thumbs up it really helps the channel it promotes helps um youtube to understand that we're promoting we're creating fantastic content which fingers crossed we are and it'll help them to promote the channel a little bit more so you're doing us a huge favor if you do and wherever in the world you are i'm sending you a huge love from here in the uk take care bye